Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and thank you for coming back and joining me on another video right here on the YouTube channel. Today you have chose to come and join me for the finale episode of the Celtic Rebuild. Yes, we have now gone through five full seasons. The date is the 1st of June 2026 and today we are going to be wrapping this series up. If you've been with us the past couple of days, you'd have seen us preparing for this day. We have been signing players left, right and centre. We also let some first teamers go. We have been looking to win the SPL and the Champions League just around the save out. And today we are going to reveal how we have got on. There's a little spoiler already on the screen, so we're not going to waste any time. We're going to jump into the competitions tab and we are going to show you that in terms of the synth premiership we have won the league yes 96 points beating rangers and hibs to the title played 38 130 drawn six we did lose two games eventually we had a goal difference of 97 and 96 points let's go back and check the other competitions though before we ran that out we did defend our champions league crown we have become two time winners back to back winners and that means that this season we have won the premiership we have won the champions league and we have won the super cup fortunately we couldn't win the premier sports cup and the scottish cup to go with it but i think this is still a fine fine season so what we are going to do here is we're going to hit some of the other tabs first run through the finances the club vision and see where we would be going if we were still in the job. We're then going to go through the schedule and show you how we got to this point. We'll come back here, run you through some stats, and then we will wrap it up by looking at what our assistant thinks the best 11 is, and have maybe a look at some of the players that we have brought in. One or two of these players really are some special players. So let's start off then by looking at the finances at the club. So yesterday's episode, we left ourselves £42 million in the bank, because the club only had 62, but now the club has 107 million. It's 21.9 million pounds in the transfer budget, and that means that whoever will take the job next, the club is in perfect health going forwards. Uh, wage budget is 1.5 million pounds. We're spending 1.4, so again, not smashing the club to smithereens with the wage budget. And I think that the club is sustainable going forwards. And we have done a really, really good job of managing the finances. In terms of the club vision then, so if we were to stay on, this is exactly what they would want to happen. So the club culture now, sign players under the age of 23 for the first team, play attacking football, play high tempo pressing football. So they were pleased with the top two, very pleased with the third one. Uh, the five-year plan ongoing, work within the wage budget on course, spend the original transfer budget, delighted, minimum two-year contracts for first team players. So if we were to continue the save at this point, for the end of next season, they would want us to retain the Cinch Premiership. They want to reach the first knockout round of the Champions League and they want us to win a domestic cup. Going forward, it still is unsettling to see that the owner wants to sell the club. Um, it says at the bottom there, rumoured that one of the club's directors could replace Dermot Desmond as chairperson. So at this point, getting out seems perfectly logical because I'm not too sure what the club would look like going forwards. But obviously, it's a very profitable club and a club that is stabilised going forwards. Let's show you the schedule then. Yesterday, we had left off. We had just drawn a game with Rangers. And let's jump back in then. So, rounding out February, we had a 3-0 win against Dundee with Dawson, Platter and Botman. We beat Hibs 5-0 with Okafor, Platter and Juranovic. We then drew 2-2 in, in, in the away leg against Roma. Uh, Cliver and Zapata getting them off to a lightning start before Juranovic and Lazaro getting the goals for us. Aberdeen we beat 2-0. St Johnston we beat 4-1 to round February out. Then Ross County at the beginning of March. We beat them 3-1 with goals from Moanta, Plata, Ballard. Brandon Williams got himself sent off in that one. In terms of Dunfermline, we beat them 4-1 also. Uh, Roma, we then went on to win 2-1 in the home leg of the Champions League first Knockout round second leg. Uh, Moanto and Piotowski, Saniolo scoring for Roma. We then had the Champions League hangover of losing 3-1 in the Premiership to Hearts before going into April. We beat Dundee United 4-0 in the home game of the Premiership. Villar, Gallagher, Moanta and Torres scoring goals there. Uh, Real Madrid, we beat them 4-2 in the away leg. 
Uh, this was a real exceptional performance. It was really, really proud of the team for this. Juranovic, Conor Gallagher and Camille Piotowski hitting the goals for us. Vinicius Jr. and Ocampos scoring for Real Madrid. In terms of St Mirren, we beat them 6-0. We then lost the home leg to Real Madrid 1-0. Eda Militao scoring the goal. But we'd already done the damage in the away leg anyway. So we went through in that. We then, in between Champions League games, had Rangers beat them 2-1 with goals from Moanta and Botman. Reese Nelson pulling one back right at the end. We then went to Italy and beat Juventus in Juventus. A 2-1 victory with goals from Moanta and Ballard. Dybala scoring for them. We then again suffered a Champions League hangover and again lost in the Sinch Premiership to Hearts following a Champions League game. But we sorted it all out to win the home leg of the Juventus game 2-1. Goals from Moranta and Villar, enough to put us through. Weston McKinney did score for Juventus. Uh, Don Firmley, we beat them 3-1. Hibs, we beat them 3-1. Aberdeen, we then drew 1-1 with a rotating team. Uh, Okafor getting the goal for us. And Calvin Ramsey, of all players, scoring for Aberdeen, living up to that Liverpool hype. And finally, we played in the Champions League final. We won 3-0 against Milan. Did it in 90 minutes. Botman, Plata and Lazaro getting the goals. And that means that the competitions tab looks exactly like this. So since Premiership, we have won. Champions League, we have won. Super Cup, we have won. And the domestic cups, we couldn't win, so didn't tick that box off. So then, let's look at the squad. Let's look at this assistant report. Uh, you can see that they go with Melier, Botman, Ballard, Piotowski, Brandon Williams, Dewsbury Hall, Villar, Gallagher, Okafor, Hanson, Aaron and Moanta up top. So 900% I agree with that 11, but certainly with the squad depth that we have by the end of the save, we could just rotate a few players in and out. I mean, if we look at some of these players, Hanson, Aaron, I just noticed have got... Um, Football writer's young player and player of the year for his first season at Celtic. I mean, his stats are phenomenal. And if he's like this in every save, he's going to be the player I think that I'm going to be going to. In terms of his career stats then, £61 million we paid for him. 35 games in the league, 16 goals, 9 assists, 4 player of the matches, a 7.43 average rating. Overall, 35-18-1, a 7.42 average rating for the season means that he's an absolute beast of a player uh, i want to actually go to the squad and show you the regen uh where is the regen that we signed uh, are we sorted by position i think it is isn't it so where is he here he is latoro termai so his first season in scottish football he played 15 games with a further eight substitute appearances he had eight goals, four assists, one penalty, one player in the match, three yellows, and a 7.13 average rating. I mean, looking at his stats, he's developing as a footballer. His overall seasonal stats, 23 appearances, eight goals, four assists, one player in the match, 7.13 average rating, an 18, nine substitute, eight goals, five assists, and a 7.09 average rating for his first season in Scotland. The player is going to go on to be some kid. Um, anybody else to show? Let's have a little look at Supernat. He's a player that obviously we brought in without the work permit at first. He's then broken into the first team, and as you might know, he comes as a bit of a wonder kid. So he's two full seasons, played 31, 13, 4, and 7.12. And then the second season, 21 appearances, 8 goals, 5 assists, and 7.11 average rating. So well worth the wait in terms of getting the work permit. It's just a shame that we couldn't have got it any quicker. In terms of Lazaro, when we look at him, he was bought in the first season for £4.5 million. And overall, he has been an absolute bargain. First season, 11 goals. Second season, 16, 10, 16 and 13 in the final season. Overall, he has been one of the best players of the save. And I'm absolutely chuffed that we managed to get him. If we look at the club info page then. And have a quick scroll through these. So we now have three Champions Leagues to our name. 25-26 to add to the Lisbon Lions of 67. Europa League, we won that in 2024. So proud moment there for the club also. One Super Cup victory in 2025. 56 premierships now with 22, 23, 24, 25 and 26. Absolutely dominating in, uh, Scottish football, sorry. Not English football, Scottish football. Uh, 
in terms of the Scottish Cup, 22, 24, 25. The Premier Sports Cup, we won that in 23 and 23. Not too sure how we can win it twice in one season, but I presume that's 22, 23, 23, 24 season. And overall, we have built the club uh, up to a global reputation. I mean, we have a five-star reputation. So first class training facilities are now four stars. Youth facilities are three stars and youth recruitment are five stars. Owner status, it says the process of a board takeover. So again, lucky to be getting out when we are. But that is it. That is the save complete. I think this has been a really successful save. It's been fun to do. Scottish football, it gets knocked. People slate it. There's only two teams, blah, 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 all of that. Scottish football is good football, regardless of what anybody wants to say. These two teams, Celtic and Rangers, I think would hold their own in the English pyramid. Not too sure where they would come in or how they would compete, but they have the firepower behind them, certainly if they are well run. I know Rangers fell into difficulties before. Celtic seem to be a well run ship. So I have a feeling that they could hold their own, certainly in the upper tiers of English football. We'll probably never find out, apart from some experiments right here on FM23. But in terms of a save, this has been absolutely brilliant. If you're at this point of the video, though, and you're still listening to me, firstly, a big thank you coming all the way through the journey here at Salty. Secondly, if you haven't hit that like and subscribe button, please consider doing so. It helps the channel so, so much. Helps me get these videos out to so many more people and it helps me to get the content out there. But for this one, I'm going to wrap it there. Go and check something else out on the channel. There is something for everybody, whether it be tactics, wonder kids, um, how to's, let's plays. They're all there. Just go and have a look. Um, a new series will be starting off tomorrow. We are going to Austria. I'll let you have your own imagination as to where we are going. It should be pretty obvious with some of the saves that I have done in previous FM23 and FM22 uh, appearances. But for this one, I'm going to wrap it there. Thanks for checking out the video and I'll see you soon.